Hello World to episode 240 the Epic Film Challenge Fantasia, another Disney classic on Blu ray. The original classic, as it says. It's the third animated film by Disney, and it is mental. It's a two hour kind of, um, it was first kind of uh, realised as a kind of roadshow kind of thing where they took it on the road and they would have a, an orchestra and stuff, and it wasn't actually released in cinemas, I don't think, for a, at least a year or so after they made it. Um, and then, of course, it was, and you get these kind of um, these pieces of animation that are set to classical music, and you get these pieces of uh, live action in between the animation pieces of the orchestra and the conductor and host uh, t talking to you about uh, the story behind the animation and the music and stuff. It's a really, really cool film, a uh, great piece of art, I think. Uh, it's not a film that I'd want to watch like all the time, but uh, you need to be in the mute. In the mute, <laughs> you need to be in the mute. You need to be in the mood for appreciating kind of like uh, great animation and great music. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this. There's I think six segments. Uh, you get the classic Mickey Mouse uh, segment, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Um, you get um, the Nutcracker Suite. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of really cool uh, bits. My favourite is probably the last one, which is uh, Night on Bald Mountain, I think it's called. Oh, where you I get this. I loved that dark scene. Yeah, it was basically. So the last part, I found boring. Yeah, Maria. yeah. Uh, it's like this huge mountain with the, this kind of devil figure on the top, and oh, it was just really epic with the music. But overall, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I used to love it as a kid. I don't know how because it's a two-hour film of just really abstract stuff at times. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really great film. I'd probably give it a seven point five from like my own enjoyment, but I think you know. It is a classic and it probably should be rated higher, but it's not a film I'm going to watch all the time. And I do love it, but 7.5 for me is the rating I'd give this. How about you? I expected you to give this one almost a 10, since you were so excited about watching it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, it's so amazing. It's yeah, I, I, I do think it is. Yeah, but I don't understand why you're rating it so low. It's not a film I'd want to watch over and over again. I don't plan on watching this for maybe another year or two, at least. Because it is a long film, and you, you can get bored. You have to be in the right mood, I think. You have to be I in know, the right mood. I know, but like Avatar is amazing, but I don't want to watch it too many times because yeah. it's so long. Like, I'll watch it like every three months or something. Mm -hmm. It's still a 10. Okay, every three months is maybe very often, though. Yeah. But like, as years go by, I'll watch it even rare more rarely. And. There are other movies that I find so disturbing and stuff, like, like, and movies that I don't really like because it's not my type of movie. Yeah. But I'll still rate it high because it it's amazingly yeah. made. You know what I mean? Like that movie <coughs> with the black woman. And, yeah. Uh, the color purple. Yes, I rated that like nine or something, or <laughs> nine point five, because it was amazing. I just found it boring because it's not my type of movie. Oh. But everything about it was great. Mm -hmm. um, Fantasia was nothing like I expected. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I know that you said that Mickey Mouse was only in for a little bit, but then I was like thinking, well, Michael Keaton is only in Beetlejuice for a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not that you can compare the two. I remember halfway through the film, you're like, so are there any other Disney characters in this? <laughs> It wasn't even halfway through, like, because mm. the beginning was just colors, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, this is very fascinating and all, but isn't this a Disney movie? Where are the Disney characters, you know, because you know all of Disney characters. You have Donald, you have Mickey, you have all those other things, and then the Tinkerbell thingies came up and I thought it was Tinkerbell but then the other fairies came around and I was like it's not Tinkerbell it's just fairies and then the dancing ostriches and, and the everything like that and I was really enjoying the classical music and at the same time I was, I was enjoying the movie but since I was kind of taken aback about what it was about I got kind of like hmm. I'll show this to my kids, <laughs> but I don't want to see it again anytime soon. I love the Mickey part, Mickey Mouse part though. It was something that I, I yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen it before. Like it was very uh -huh. familiar to me, and I love to see something familiar 
and the whole thing. When you expect something from a movie, it's pretty difficult to be positive about it when it's completely not what you expected. If you expected something good, if you know what I mean. Uh huh. Uh, it was really good though. I I enjoyed it, uh, and I was fascinated. But I didn't find it amazing. But then again, when I think back at when it was made, it is pretty amazing. Like 1940s, uh -huh. I think. Yeah, I'll give it a... Think about when it was made and all of that. I have to think about the technical and everything. I can't think uh -huh. about only the fact that I, I won't see it again for years, yeah. probably. I'll give it an 8.5. Uh -huh. Because it's... Well, for me, so we'll in terms of when it was made and the animation and the music and everything, I would have to give it a 9 or a 10, but for me, like, personal enjoyment, you know, yeah. it's just one of those films that I'm not going to watch that often, even though I do love it and appreciate it and stuff, there's films like the next episode of the Epic Film Challenge, like Dumbo, which is like an hour long, you know, you can just pop it in and watch it really quickly and it's got a great story and it's just more of a uh, easier film to watch, I think. Yeah. So yeah, Fantasia. Yeah. Thanks for watching.